In this video, the fourth of the Flying 15 technical series, Greg Wells and Simon Charles will be looking at running techniques. Here we're going to see Simon and Cato's running technique in 10 to 12 knots. Okay, on the run mainsail, virtually right out against the shroud. Crucial control probably down here is the kicker. You want a pretty little kicker, looking at it, a bit of twist there. As it gets windier, you pull a bit more on to stop yourself rolling around too much. Just soak down in the waves. What we're finding is we both want to be sitting on the windward side when we can, getting our weight forwards to help catch the waves. So weight forward, a bit of windward heel is good. Just feels nice and comfortable. Roll down these waves. Setting up for a jibe now. So what we'll do first is get the leeward twinner on, let go of that windward sheet, get some twinner on that leeward side. That's probably good enough. I'm going out to the middle to take up, take the sheets off. Okay. She's going to jibe the boom over. Jibe the boom, Kato. Let the twinner off as it comes. And Twinner on. Right, set up for the jive. Lured Twinner's the first one needs to go on. Helm stands up, takes the sheets off the crew. Crew jibes the boom when we can. Three, two, one, go. And twinners are on. Shove that pole out as quick as we can. Hole's too tight, is it? Helm flies it as long as we can. And now here's me and DT showing you how not to do it and to do it in 25 to 30 knots. So this shows uh, the technique we like to use in the 15s going downwind when it's windy. As you can see, there is a slight windward heel. You must make sure not to have too much windward heel because otherwise the rudder loads up and you'll find yourself looking to push it away from itself too much. Um, but having the windward heel means that the boat won't round up when you get gusts. Here you can see good technique using the guy. What's good about this is the helm and crew are working together pulling the guy back as the boat bears away down the waves. So here's some footage of how not to jive in a lot of breeze. What happens here is a big gust has hit us, which has caused us to be unsettled going into the jive. We lose control of the spinnaker, we then go into the jive, and as you can see, we just broach out straight away. Main comes across way too hard. This is because we lost speed as we approach the jive. We mustn't do that. <laughs> 